Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to El Smart Investor Channel. So guys, I don't know about you, but I'm super glad that we're seeing at last some light at the end of the tunnel after such a beating in our growth tech stocks. So as we're climbing slowly out of our graves, guys, today I want to share with you my best EV stocks to buy right now in April 2021 that I think will make massive returns in the long run. So listen, guys, everything is simple. Despite the current blood in the streets, the EV industry is set to grow massively massively even more so because the Chinese the European countries and the American governments are financing this aggressive expansion many of these countries have set ambitious goals for the next years and if that hasn't convinced you in this video I will show you the charts of the growth for the electric cars expected for the next 20 years so definitely stick around until the end as I'll be breaking down each EV company that I'm recommending and we'll do a technical chart analysis as well as my buying strategy for those new to the channel I'm a corporate professional stock investor real estate investor and a passionate gamer so all I ask in return guys it's to please smash that like button subscribe and hit that bell notification to not miss any of my videos guys i truly appreciate it it helps out the channel so thank you so much before moving on if you trade in different currencies like i do and you'd love to save tons of money when exchanging your dollars then use my link below to transfer why so start saving now now let's get back to business all right guys so as promised here's the chart that i was talking about the rise of the electric cars so listen to this this is really great this is the projections of ev makers how many vehicles we're gonna have newly incorporated each year and the growth guys is just astonishing look at this today we're right here 2020 we're really low we're still a baby compared to the massive growth look at this that we can get here by 2040 almost to 450 million cars guys that we'll be making which is total to 35 percent of all new vehicle sales now i know that china and other countries are being more aggressive and it's going to be way sooner than this in terms of their own country and for that matter china is the biggest ev maker along with some european countries but needless to say guys that we're still very primitive here at 2020 and look at how all these startups all the companies out there are already planning and starting to make ev cars and undoubtedly guys because of all those specs and companies even established companies like gm ford as you know and volkswagen that are actually pretty strong will take the next few years to actually start production and build up on that look at this that's why 2021 and 2022 it's still pretty low but once 2022 and 23 hits guys look at this acceleration this is gonna go so fast you won't have time to actually pull the trigger on these stocks so that is why people are being so bullish in the ev sector and industry and buying and buying and buying any dips because everybody knows a good investor that the future is really bright and let me know in the comments below are you bullish by seeing this or you're bearish what are your comments i'd be curious to know all right guys so the first best company that that I want to present to you is no other than Tesla guys this is a no-brainer it's actually very natural that everybody's talking about this stock because you know what their fundamentals are great they have a robust plan in the future and they're well diversified they're not only an EV maker of course right and their proprietary thing that makes them so distinguishable and competitive advantage first they're first in market secondly they have the battery as well as of course the epic technology of autonomous driving which that will make them extremely more of a valuable company in the future i believe personally and then of course they're they're diversified into a solar technology into insurance and so on and so forth so i really love this company and now i will be presenting to you the my best five companies today but they're not in order of which one i consider the best or not personally by the way i had tesla at 350 dollars and i sold out and since then i've been waiting for this to dip at the 450 dollars and some of you guys asked me what is my price to wait to buy precisely i told my subscribers personally anything between 450 and 550 was a buying zone for me personally so whoever got in on that zone well congratulations because as you can see it's trying to hold in the 650 the current volatility guys will provide a lot of opportunities for some of you to play it as a short-term trade but also as a long-term investment and personally guys i knew that this was hyped up there was a lot of fomo since they got included into s p 500 so it was a no-brainer for me that this was going to downfall from its hype at 800 dollars okay so let's take a look here guys tesla they announced their numbers and their reports are just amazing they beat the estimations they set a new record here guys of 185,000 deliveries for the first quarter of 2021 the analysts were expecting 168,000 guys so this is clearly a great path here and despite the volatility in the market the short end chips 
This is amazing results. Not to be transparent, guys, let's face it, this is the first quarter. Of course, the chips is going to have an impact. So we may see in the second quarter to a third quarter of this year some impacts in those numbers. But for now, guys, things are looking very bright. So listen, guys, I could talk a lot about these companies, but I want to avoid taking too much of your time. So I will be very short and sweet and just give you my list. And if you want me to focus more individual on each stock, let me know in the comments below which one you would like me to talk more and deep dive into their fundamentals. OK, guys, otherwise, I'm going to cover very quickly the charts. All right, guys, so very quickly, technical charts for Tesla, 661 right now, down 1% on the last trading day. So look at this, guys, they're trying to consolidate here above $600. We're going to see if it holds but they've been selling out from the resistance level at $700. So they're not able to actually go above this. So we'll see what happens in the next days. Personally speaking, I'm being very transparent here. I'm hoping here for this to dip again in the $500 level and below. So this is my buying zone very quickly. Okay, 500 or less, but $550 right here when it dipped, that is still a pretty damn good pricing to get into. So 550 and 500 and below is a no brainer. It's a big buy for me. I'm going to load up the boat. So that is for Tesla. Let's move on to the next stock. My second stock guys is no other than my favorite Neo. Neo is the amazing Chinese EV maker that has astonished us all the way from the $2 in the past one year ago to all the way to $60 guys. So that is massive gains and congratulations to anybody who made it. Now, I don't need big introduction for Neo. A lot of you guys know this and I've already covered plenty of videos and fundamentals about this company. So go back to my history. I've already posted those videos. What I need to tell about Neo, guys, is that this gave us a tremendous opportunity to buy the dip right here and right here, guys. So if you got in, wow, amazing. If you didn't, we're still have going to have opportunities. I believe in this volatility. But let's face it, guys. Neo will do amazing in the future with their battery stations, their subscription level. They're so genius in have creating that demand there for membership and having steady, consistent revenues in the future. They're also going to be in the autonomous driving. Their cars are so nice looking. I love the models, guys. And they keep spicing things up with new models. So listen, Neo, no, no questions asked with the expansion coming up in Europe alone, which is the second biggest market. And then followed by the Americans in the U.S. by the future as they're starting to recruit. Neo will be at $100 next year, guys. So that is why I bought a lot of Neo when it dipped here at $34. I was buying in all the accounts I could imagine. And I was hoping for this to dip at the $30 level as the weekends were getting rid of this stock and I was buying but unfortunately, that didn't happen. Who knows? It may happen. But in any case, this is a no-brainer. I'm keeping this one in my portfolio. I'm not sending out any single shares. And I'm going for that $60 followed by the $90, hopefully by the end of the year. And then, of course, above $100 in more than 18 months. So let me know in the comments below if Neo is a stock that you currently hold or that you're looking to buy. But for me personally, guys, this is my personal thoughts. Anything below $40, it's a buy zone. But more concretely, at $34 here or $35, it's an amazing position to start at a small to medium size. And then anything below the $33 level to, of course, $25, then it's a huge buying zone for me personally, okay? So anything below that $33, as you can see, it's a support level here. It's been bouncing quite a few times. Then I will be loading the completely the boat. I already got a significant position at Neo, which I'm comfortable, but I will definitely double up if it falls below $33. So those are my thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below and let's move on to the third stock. All right, guys. So the third company I really like and I'm looking to get a position into this fresh and new as I sold out already in the hype is no other than Lion Electric under ticker symbol NGA. So this is a company truly I really love a lot and that I think in the heavy truck industry, they will do tremendously well. They've already accumulated tons of contracts, guys, in the bus area and other type of trucks. So they are well established and positioned to grow in the next years, guys, and to be a leader in this industry. Along with another company that I like, ACTC is another one, Proterra. Now, what we're going to have to look at, guys, very carefully this year is, are they going to hit this mark here at 650 units sold? This is going to be crucial, guys, because as you've seen, other SPACs have big projections, but they're not able to show us that they're selling and they're producing cars. Now, they're saying that in 2020, they've sold 110 and that total revenue will be $29 million. They're saying that this year in 2021, they should be doing $204 million. So this is going to be crucial, guys, in their next earnings when they're going to give us visibility 
that they come very close to this or they beat these expectations. And if they do, guys, believe me, this stock will skyrocket immediately. So buckle up, guys, because this company, once they've been transparent about those numbers, we're going to see either this going very up or down. And look at this projection, guys. It's very ambitious. And they're looking at $3.6 billion by 2024. So one to keep on your watch list. Now let's move on to the charts very quickly. All right, guys. So NJ is currently sitting at almost $17. That's up 3.86% on the last trading day what i'm looking forward here guys is for this to dip at 15 dollars and that will be my first position to be at it at a small one okay and why do i say small guys it's just i'm being very cautious here as the specs have been hit it pretty hard although i think this company will do very well in the future there have been some SPACs like Candy, Lordstown, and so on and so forth that have been sold off aggressively. I still want to be cautious investor here, and I think the markets are bearish at this point for the SPACs. So I want to make sure that I'm buying at the lowest price as possible. So that is why $15 will be my first entry position in this stock. So if it does go back there, then as we can see, it's been bouncing back from that price. And it, there's a big support level at $15. My second price target would be here at $12 and $13. Okay, that will be my second position in to NGA. Of course, anything below $12, it's a no-brainer. Unless there's a catastrophic report against them, I will be loading the boat below $12. But anything between $12 and $15, it's a buy zone and a great opportunity for me personally. Okay, guys? So those are my thoughts for NGA. Let me know if you're already in this stock or not in the comments below. Let's move on to the last stock. So the last best EV play that I have here in my list is no other than Lucid. So that is CCIV as a ticker symbol. Guys, I truly love this company because of their products. They look amazing. I actually salivate each time that I look at those pictures. Now, what I'm trying to actually do with CCIV is to get at a very decent price because I feel personally, and this is just my personal opinion, given their projections that are quite ambitious, perhaps a bit too much, I feel that today's present here right now at this month in time, their evaluation is currently very juicy and pricey for me. And that's just my personal opinion, guys. So I'm waiting for another significant dip on this one before I get in. And the other aspect that I'm less comfortable with until the company actually proves themselves is their revenue projections because in 2021, so this year, they're projecting to do $97 million. But look at this huge jump into 2022, $2.2 billion, guys. And by 2025, $14 billion. So this gap, especially here, is worrying some for me personally. I'm actually wondering if they're going to be able to achieve this in such a short term. But hey, I know that they're billing that their facilities are going to be produced but I still need to be proven as a shareholder before I load up the boat. And you've seen the volatility out there in this company. So I'm going to chill and relax, guys. This is still a SPAC. It hasn't even merged. It's still a while before that. And my experience tells me that there's going to be greater opportunities especially when you're looking at great companies with great vision, but still no revenues like QuantumScape, right? You've seen this stock, right? It went all the way to up $60.00. And now it went down, back down, right? So it's been pretty volatile. So there's going to be great opportunities for all of us to actually be part of this great company. All right, guys. So CCIV currently sitting at $23.78. That's plus almost 3% on the last trading day. And look at this, guys. This stock has been holding the lines and support level at $20.80. As you can see, it bounced three times in the past and it's been pretty strong. Now it's trying to consolidate and make an uptrend at this point. But personally speaking, guys, since I don't have a position yet on CCIV, I'm looking to get in. And at this point, I think a small position at $20 is definitely a good entry. But I'm a very cautious guy in terms of SPACs, EV, especially those ones that haven't proven themselves. And that's why I'm going to be cheap and say that I'm actually looking for the next level support level at $18. And anything less, so that most concretely at $14 would be a nicer position, of course. And, and it's a no-brainer at $10. I mean, that's not going to happen unless they screw up pretty bad like Candy Company or that other one that was pushing the truck. So for me personally, guys, $20 is a great buy for a small position for me personally. The next one, it's at $18, so I'm hoping to dip there. And anything below that will be a no-brainer for CCIV. I think they're a great product. They're backed up by a lot of great people as well. And I think in the future, they're going to grow tremendously. If they can prove themselves in terms of productivity and contracts, guys, that's very key and fundamental. But I think they have the right management as well as the right investors behind this to propulse this company. Wow, just look at that amazing car, guys. Like I said, 
I'm salivating just of looking at it. That being said, guys, Blab resumes the top five best EV stocks that I'm looking to buy right now in April. And as soon as they dip, I will definitely load up the boat, guys. Let me know in the comments below, which one are you looking to look into? Is it CCIV, NEO, Tesla, NGA, or any other EV that I haven't covered in this one? Which, is, which are your best EV stocks in your opinion? And I'll even add two extra EV stocks, guys, that have already loaded the boat as well because they went just crazy on a dip side, guys. Lee Auto and Expev. Those I loaded the boat when it dipped at $21 for Lee Auto. It's now at $26 and Xpeng as well, guys. It dipped below $30. That's just insane for me. So massive profits, guys, whether you're trading this on a short term or for the long term. I think they're going to do amazing in the biggest market, which is China, and they're packed up by their government. On that note, guys, if you made it this far, all I ask in return, as it takes a really long time to do these videos and provide with this kind of content, is to smash that like button on the video right here below and smash that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much, guys. It truly helps out. And on that note, I'm going to wish you an amazing weekend and Easter, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.